Mm. Can you briefly explain about the Pet Care Innovation Prize and sort of its evolution? Sure. So the Pet Care Innovation Prize uh, started um, back uh, a few years ago. We're in our fourth cycle of it. Um, uh, the applications closed in September. So, uh, so it got started because <clears throat> it's uh, funded by Purina. Um, and Purina, um, like all big companies, they need to do innovation and they need to find what's innovative out there. Um, and it's very difficult for big companies to do innovation um, <clears throat> compared to what it is for smaller companies. I mean, if you think about a smaller company, you can get the entire company together in a, you know, in the conference room is also their entire office. You know? <laughs> and you can say, forget it, we're not doing cats anymore, we're doing dogs. Um, but you, you know, like you can just move much more quickly. Um, <clears throat> the other thing is, <clears throat> and I always try to make sure that this is not about bashing big companies because big companies have a ton of, you know, they've put an enormous amount of effort into finding something that works. And then you want to get rid of all of the things that make it not work. So all of the errors and all of the, the things that, um, you know, that all of the gray space that startups explore because startups haven't figured out a winning formula. So a big company has found a winning formula and now their job is to figure out how to do it ever more efficiently because they have to, uh, you know, continue to do things that way. And so startups just get this latitude to try things out that big companies can't. Um, and um, they get to, and uh, you have things where like the founder is frequently, you know, the, the chief salesperson, the chief product person, the chief, uh, you know, the chief HR person and the chief, uh, the chief webmaster, you know, and um, it means that a lot of things get really, um, <clears throat> a lot of just interesting things can happen. So uh, Purina asked us to start the, what we call the, we call it the PCIP just for shorter, mm -hmm. uh, the Pet Care Innovation Prize to, um, to help them build relationships with these startups. So they have a, um, a, an investing arm that invests in startups in the pet care space because they know that long-term they've got to have relationships with them. And those investments might be equity or they might be, we want to do some project together or whatever. So to feed that, you have to have a lot of startups. And so uh, to their credit, they said, you know, we could bet on a few winners and do investments. Um, and that would be, um, <clears throat> that would be really great. But that is hard to do. You know, so there's a lot of due diligence. That's kind of a cautious kind of thing, a big publicly traded, especially European based company, you know, because they're owned by Nestle or part of the Nestle family. <clears throat> that just takes a lot of effort. And so that can be slow and everything. And um, I said, instead of doing that, why don't we do something for much earlier stage companies? And instead of wanting equity where we have to do a lot of due diligence, let's just say we're going to give you some cash and give you some support and we want to build a relationship with you. Um, so that's the genesis of the Pet Care Innovation Prize. 